What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and in today's video, we're gonna show you how to buy a duplex and to make things a little more interesting, we're actually meeting up with Ryan Myers right here in this Jeep because he just bought this duplex. We're gonna show you the entire process, we're gonna show you the actual duplex and all the steps you need to take to get to the point where you can buy a duplex as well. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Chandler Smith, and I've been investing in real estate for the last eight years. I currently own 114 units of rental real estate, and I also just purchased a 73-unit storage complex. Now, what's really fun about this deal is this is actually the second deal that I personally have found and then flipped to Ryan Myers. Now, I'm not gonna say I've got any favorites, but uh, He's definitely up there for me to flip him to super solid deals because with everything I had going on, I just didn't want to take this duplex on. So it's actually this duplex right here. We're going to go walk around it, talk about what we look for, talk about the numbers, talk about all of that. However, I also want to show you everything he's had to do to build up to the point where he could purchase this duplex. In order to do that, we're going to see... Uh... <laughs> What's up, dude? Hey. How are you? I'm good. Good, it good. Going? It's been a minute since we've done a video with you. I had long hair back then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I know we sold you the fourplex. It's yes. been, what, six since, months, since a year? Since like March. Yeah. April? It's been a while. Sometime around. It's been a little How bit. How have you liked it? Loved it. You're still living there? Still living there. House hacking the heck out of that thing. Living for free. <laughs> awesome. I love it. And now you just got back from another summer selling pest yes. control. You killed it. How much money did you make? Uh, about 200. You, you paused there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe even a little more than 200, huh? <laughs> cool. And so you came back and decided you were going to buy this duplex. Yes. Cool, cool. Was it okay if we kind of pick your brain and talk about the process? Heck yeah, let's do it. Okay. I'm going to come hop in. Okay. All right. So we got to give them the rundown. Okay. First of all, I said I don't really have favorites in my sales reps, but you are the only sales rep that has gotten two deals from me. Am I wrong? Uh, I guess that's true. This one was a different story, though. Oh, that? I don't know. Mm. How is it a different story? So here's the thing. I actually made an offer on this, not knowing Chandler had made an offer on this. Well, but only one of us had it under contract. Yeah, but it turns out Chandler <laughs> had it under 20 minutes before I sent mine in. Yeah, but Chan I got, got it under contract offer, yeah. at a better deal than yeah. you had offered. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. It. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. So it was super fun. Um, I, anytime I find good deals, and this was actually off market, yeah. but we had both interacted with the same mm -hmm. connection to try and put it together. Um, and so, yeah, I got it under contract. And I, originally, I was planning on going through with it. Mm -hmm. However, I had so much going on with everything else, and I wanted to hook you up. So, hey, and Jeez. let's be honest, I kind of felt bad when I heard you put in an offer. Yeah. And I kind of snaked it from you. So it all worked out good, but I'm super excited to tell everybody about the process. Um, and I want to give like a recap of the early on stuff. Now, in order for you to purchase this duplex, I do want to talk about some of the stuff you had to do to get to this point. First thing first, you had to get your credit to a good place. You had to make sure your income was in a good place. You could afford the down payment. How much did you put down on this property? I put 49,500, so 25%. Cool. And so you had that in order, you were pre-approved. You have to get re-pre-approved like every three or six months. Uh -huh. So you'd been pre-approved before, you got pre-approved again, yep. made sure the loan was good, made sure you had the cash yep. and you were good to go. And then obviously all of the due diligence. Now with a duplex, both of us jumped on this deal because it met our criteria. And my criteria is right now in this market to get a 10% cash on cash return or higher. And this was actually quite a bit more and I think we both recognized there were opportunities to raise rents oh, on this place. And on top of that, duplexes are hard to come by right now. So it really ended up being a very good land. Yeah. So once we'd done due diligence on the front end and you said, hey, this deal looks like it can work. It's something we could add value to. Mm -hmm. Then you get it under contract and then it's time to negotiate a little bit, mm -hmm. which we had some back and forth in your particular deal. The thing that I got that made it better than what you had offered you, okay, I offered two hundred. Chan got it for one ninety seven, so I'll take that. Plus, and I got the two percent on closing, closing costs. Yeah, so that's a huge win on the deal. But you you did a pretty good job too. That's good. I came yeah. back. I did get. I did get. When, I did get a two thousand dollar credit for the roof as well. Hey, that's so, true. Hey, I had yeah. to battle for that well, one. That's the next step. Once we've gotten it under contract, I always make mine transferable. So if I decide I don't want to, I can flip them to someone, even though I've got them under contract. Mm -hmm. So he flipped it over to you, and then you went and did your due diligence, which yep. you found what? I got, so I had my inspection done. House looks great. Guts are all pretty darn good. 
only issue the so there, there's two units in it one's actually it's not they're not connected units it's more like a mother-in-law apartment in the back and that mother-in-law apartment it's pretty small but the roof is definitely i'm gonna have to put a new roof on it so that was the big thing that i found that i needed to have that done so i went in and i countered just that i actually i think i asked for 2500 he said i'll give you two so i took it you know i don't think it'll cost much more than that to put the roof on anyways so. that's awesome that's yeah. a killer combo right there Not bad we'll hold it, it off i love it so and if you guys haven't noticed ryan is like my little brother so i give him a harder time than i should yeah. but really you were in an incredible place now this puts you at how many units i'm at seven units now holy cow and how old are you 23 years young 23 that's nuts super incredible you're just starting college just getting into things 23 years old, you made over $200,000 doing door-to-door -door sales this year. If you guys are interested in that job, you can actually apply to work with Ryan below. Just go to www.elitesummersales.com. You don't have to apply for an interview right away, but you can at least go and get some information. I'm dragging so that Ryan can't cut me off. Or just follow me on Instagram. Look right there. Uh, <laughs> one of those cool things. So you can go follow Ryan on Instagram as well. <laughs> he is an incredible team lead. He's done a great job taking care of his people. And not only has he made a lot, but a lot of your people now are making yeah. a ton of money as well. Yeah. So very cool. Well, so that gives you the whole process up until closing. Now, once we get to closing, actually, before we talk about closing, let's go look at the property. Okay. Okay. This is the view. Looks like you need some blinds fixed. Is this how you get to the back? Um, nope. I'm There's a gate on you. the other side. <laughs> now, the roof on this front part, was that the one that needed replaced or it's no. in good shape? No, it's in good shape. Very cool. There's one or two shingles I'll need to put on, but nothing too crazy. Cool. Well, maybe we can't get around. We might have to drive around to the other side. <laughs> There's a gate on the other side. <laughs> Ryan's still well, learning how this we're property still thing works. I've, never, I've only been here one time. <laughs> All right, so once you went back in due diligence, you asked for $2,000. Yeah. They were willing to give you 2500 No, they. 2, you asked for 2500 They were willing to yeah. give you 2000 You got 2% closing costs, and you got it at what purchase price? I got it at 197 Perfect. And the rents right now are at what? So the, the main house is at 1100 right now and okay. the mother-in-law apartment's at 525 That's awesome. Now with those, what are you thinking you can get the house to and what are you thinking you can get the mother-in-law to? So I'm hoping, I think the mother-in-law could actually get up hundred bucks maybe. That's kind of my goal. Okay. And then the, uh, the actual house, I don't know. What do you think? I, I feel like a hundred, it's at 1100 now. But it's at the size where I bet I could get it to 12. Yeah, I think you could get 12 on both of it. And your numbers work pretty good, yeah. even with where yeah. things are at. So that's very cool. And uh, after going through due diligence, I do want to talk about closing. Yeah. So you went through your due diligence. In due diligence, you're not just looking at the property. Like yeah. the shape of the property is important, but you want to make sure that you've got a clean title. You want to make sure that you know where you can get rents to. You want to make sure that you know any additional expenses. And obviously there's a lot more due diligence when you're dealing with bigger properties, but you want to just make sure you hit all your P's and Q's. Is that the phrase? The P's Cross and Q's. Cross your T's, dot Cross your, your I's. Cross your T's and dot your I's. And so uh, that's a big part of it is just making sure that the financials work out and that the property is clean yep. and good to go. And then when you get to closing, I know I helped you with this a little bit the night of, but when you're looking through your closing statements, you want to make sure everything you've negotiated is there. You wanted to make sure you got the 2%, the $2,000, and that the purchase price was good. Yeah. And I always negotiate with the title company because mm -hmm. we do so many deals. So we negotiated with them yeah. a little bit. Make sure that you're getting the best rates and terms with the loan that you're going with. And once all of those are plugged in, your rates, your closing costs, all of that looks right, then it's time to close. Yeah. So okay. you go in, you bring your cash, you close, and you are the proud new owner of this unit in the back and, and that full home in the front. In the front. Yeah. Very cool. Well, sweet. Now, we're not going to be able to get inside no. because we didn't really talk to the tenants before. However, we are going to see if we can jump that fence. But what's cool, this parking, is this for this tenant or is that yes. for the tenants in the front? Yeah. Okay, cool. And they've got this nice little uh, storage. I think that's where you keep the bodies, right? Is that... Cool. That's a nice little storage. Very well insulated up there, it looks like. <laughs> you got it. Oh, shoot. <laughs> that's I just a, came that's in a good thumbnail right there. <laughs> Very cool. Well, hey, now that we've seen the back, should we walk around? Yeah, let's do it. Let's walk back around and we'll talk a little more. Cool. Well, we gave a little look. We gave a rundown. However, I do want to ask you a couple questions because 
there are tons of people that are wanting to get into investing in real estate. However, it's also pretty intimidating. And I know you still, it, me too, I feel like a newbie. Like yeah. I've been doing this eight years and you're always learning more, but what was it that gave you the courage to make the jump? So I think the biggest thing, so I bought my first property back in January, just before you tossed me that fourplex. Yeah. And uh, the biggest thing that I think I've seen with guys getting in and whenever guys ask me, the number one thing that I say is, Getting into it, it's scary, but you're not really gonna learn until you actually do it. And a lot of guys sit there and they'll waste, you know, two, three years looking for that unicorn property too. And I think for me, I got into that single family. Has it been like the biggest, most insane cash flow in the world? No, but like I made good money on it. It was a good safe buy. And I learned 10,000 times more on that property than I would have just sitting and reading books. I love it. Well, and I think one of the biggest things that people run into is they're terrified that they're gonna make a mistake and you're dealing with a big purchase price. I mean, that first property, how much did it cost you? 125. So $125,000, that's scary. That's yeah. a big number, but it's also on a 30 year fixed loan yeah. when interest rates are nothing right now. So really you're committing to an extra, what? Three to $500 a month, is yeah. that what your mortgage yeah. is? And so what people need to understand is you wanna get your numbers right, but also, once you've done your due diligence, you're gonna to get to where you know 80% oh, yeah. confidence maybe, maybe 90, but then you just gotta pull the trigger because you're gonna make mistakes. You're going to have that learning tax or that stupid tax, but it's worth it because now you know way more than people that were in your same situation last year. They made a lot of money doing door-to-door -door sales, but they've just sat on it. And now you're more of an expert than they are and you've got the confidence to where when you see a deal like a duplex, you've already done a deal, even with yeah. worse numbers on that first one. So a duplex where the numbers are actually really good, doesn't scare you and you jump on it before anybody else, okay. so. Yeah, always gotta be ready. Very cool. So if you get anything out of this video, hopefully the process is a little more clear and hopefully you understand that it's not that scary. It's worth taking the jump and the worst case scenario is still going to be better than putting yourself in a situation where you haven't invested, you've sat on that money and you look back five, 10, 15 years from now and say, Holy cow, I wish I could be like Ryan Myers. Cause here's the reality, on the trajectory that you were on, you're on track to have more units than I do by the time that you're 30. I mean, you are flying, you got into it sooner, you're growing more quickly, you could be at 200 units by the time you're 30, cash flowing $600,000 a year, increasing your net worth by over a million dollars a year, and that's something that's very realistic for you, and it's because you're willing to get into it earlier, you're able to get an income so that you could get into it, and you put yourself on an awesome path. Anything else you got to say? Hold on, I give a shout out to my mom. Hold on a uh, second, <laughs> Mom, look. <laughs> oh, today mom, was the day, huh? I graduated from real estate, real estate school. <laughs> <laughs> Can't pronounce it, but you graduated. <laughs> well, I still gotta take the test. Awesome, we'll report back if he passes, but you did just get your realtor's license. Well, after I get the test, but yeah, yeah, yeah we're working yeah. on it, yeah. So another question on that, I don't have my realtor's license. Mm -hmm. I am someone that I like getting deals from people. What's your plan? What made you decide to get it? So a big thing, obviously with commissions and everything like that, if I'm buying my own properties and with your license, it's not gonna cost you that much to use it every year. So as long as you're keeping it up to date and I'm buying at least one property a year, it's more than paying itself off. And in the long run, it's gonna save me a lot of money. Beautiful. And then on top of that, I've got a lot of guys that can use me, lots of buddies that you know are starting to buy properties and obviously make some extra cash on the side doing that. I love it. Now, my only complaint is because you didn't have it on this deal, yeah, I, I didn't make any money. But the next time I flip you a deal, I get to keep your 3%. Something right? like that. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll split we'll it. We'll talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, if you guys enjoyed the video, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the future videos. Sick. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Have a great day.